we just want to shout out real quick. We have a new sponsor on the show. We have our friends over at uh, wildheartstones.com. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. Kyle's one of my friends. She runs this company and she uh, sells gems and amulets and talismans and bracelets and sage and all of your good foo foo stuff that you guys all like. It's um, honestly really cool stuff. This website beautiful gems, beautiful is stones. The, the interface on this website makes it very easy to see exactly what you're buying. Um, not only just gems and uh, f there's fossils, there's bracelets, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. There's a blog on this website. She she knows that her family has been digging up these gems for for generations. So yes. this is the real deal, Holyfield guys. Check them out and at your purchase, type in ICBTB. For the promo code, get 15% off. Nice. Wild Hearthstone. We'll put the link in on our description and things yeah, like that. Yeah, check it out, y'all. Cradle balls. <laughs> Work the shaft. And swallow the gravy. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that bad, oh. 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 It can't be... That bad. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome to another episode of ICBTB Podcast. Podcast. His name is Christian. And his name is Alejandro. And over there is Justin Garcia. Yeah, big shout out to Justin Garcia. Coming we had back. an awesome, highly irrelevant episode on Tuesday that all of you baddies should go back and watch and listen to. We'll wait. Yep. Okay, and now that you've watched yes, it, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, we have here our producer, Alan Boo. Alan Boo. Boo. Going on. Yep. Took um, notes uh, for this movie. Yet again, a, a college, not a college, college level thesis. I wouldn't even say college level because college, I feel like, is dumbing down the actual quality of it. I think it's PhD. I would level. say like either college wow. freshman or college. last year of their doctorate masters, right? Because when you're a college freshman, you try really hard because you don't realize how easy it is. I guess so. Mm -hmm. And then when you're a mas when you're taking your master's program, you understand how important it is. Well, whatever it is, it's at a, a high academic level. And dude, I love you. Oh, Thanks, man. I, wow. love you, I love you a little you bit more than he does. I would love to see these notes that you guys. You have. could actually yeah, see them after great. the episode, yeah. and you're going to be like jaw dropped. Okay. Jewel sent me her own version of notes, and they are not to not to poo poo you, Julie, um, but they are a little bit of the watered down basic version of Alan's. And I showed her Alan's notes, and even she was flabbergasted. So that's you even, okay. You even got Julie on your side. Oh, awesome. <laughs> um. um but let's get into it. You brought us a movie today that is not conventional to what we tackle. Nope. So this is more so of a, it can't be, be that, that good. It can be that good. It can be. I really enjoyed this film. I haven't seen it in its entirety in a long time, so it's, thank you for bringing it back. It's yeah. pretty good, guys. It's incredibly it's good. It's pretty good, but you Out know what? of pocket, man. It aged pretty bad. No, I'll it still definitely, watch it. It aged really bad, but I also think, like I said earlier, yeah. was a bad for its time also. Like, people always say, you couldn't make this movie now. You couldn't have made that movie yeah. then. The fact that they did it anyways In was 2008, insane. where a lot mm -hmm. was able to, like, kind of uh, go by in terms of, like, what you can say in PC culture, still really rough. And, like... These yeah. are notable actors really just putting themselves out there. And I think that's what made it okay was these people are they, established big actors. Absolutely. They took a lot of risks and, and they're I'm pretty sure Ben Stiller was the director, right? Yes, he was he the was. director. He was. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to tell the baddies what movie it is? Uh, we watched <laughs> Tropic, Tropic Thunder. Thunder. Man, so let's get into it. There's a lot to talk about. I'm so, so I'm so happy that you brought this up because I I've been seeing this on Amazon Prime and I'm like, uh, I'll find a time like when I can watch this. And this was that time. It you was on Netflix up until five days ago. Yeah, and really. When mm -hmm. I went to go look for it on Netflix, I was kicking myself because I was like, nope, not against you, but I was like, a lot of times we'll have guests who pick a movie that I'm like, oh, perfect, that's on Netflix. It's great, and yeah. it will be a new month, and it is just now off of Netflix. Just missed it. Yeah. Just start punching myself in the dick. So, baddies, by the time that this comes out, watch it on Prime Video. Yeah. Also, it's on Pluto TV, which is a free app to download. Christian, did you not watch this when it came out? I did. I watched this in theaters. Oh, okay. I for okay. sure watched this in theaters. I was also willing to pay two ninety nine to watch the unrated director's cut. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder how much worse it could have gone. I don't know. I don't know how much worse it could have been. Maybe a little bit longer in the trailers and stuff. Alan, did you watch this in theaters? No, I didn't. Was this your first time watching it? it all the way through, yes. Whoa. All the way through. Like, I would watch, like, snippets of yeah. it. Like, if I was at a friend's house or something, but, there you yeah. Go. And what's your opinion? Do you think it was, like, too much, too little, or, like, was it just right? Could they have gone more? <laughs> I was fine with it. I mean, fine. yeah, yeah. You got thick yeah. skin, dude. But, but when they teetered the line a bit, you did say... Mm. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, didn't cross my mind in 2008. No, I thought that was all funny yeah, and passive. Yeah, exactly. It was almost <clears throat> the joke. I think wasn't that they're doing it. Um, 
what they're doing is so bad. I think the joke is that in 2008, there were actors and stuff who took themselves that seriously. So yeah. it wasn't a joke on what... I'm talking about Robert Downey in particular. It's not a joke about what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. It's a joke on who he's parroting, right? Yeah, Which I think is yeah. how he was able to get away with it um, because now you couldn't even make that argument. You wouldn't even yeah. be allowed to mm-hmm. say your piece. It would just be, it, you would just be shut down. Okay. Yeah. There's a pretty big argument that he shouldn't have gotten away with it and he should be. Well, it's co- it's all about context. Let's talk about, let's do the nitty gritty yeah. yeah. so we can just jump straight into the movie. Okay. We watched a movie called Tropic Thunder. It is rated R and was released in the year 2008, if you guys didn't hear us say that a million times already. It has a runtime of... It's good enough. Okay, so Google says two hours, one minute. I don't think that's correct. I believe it's an hour and 47 minutes. Yeah. Right? Two hours, one minute is probably the director's director's cut. I would agree. I would agree. Um, So... You know, if you got two dollars, it's uh, almost two hours for you. But uh, you know, whatever. It has a rating of seven out of ten on the IMDb, a four out of five from Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook, and an eighty-two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. My friends, we also have a rating that we like to check. The Google users get to rate this movie mm. on a thumbs up, thumbs down rating. Are you two, are, Justin? Are you aware of what the Google users rated this film? Absolutely not. Perfect, Christian. Are you? Nope. Gentlemen, what do you think Google users rated Tropic Thunder, Justin? 82%. Christian. 87. It was a rated. Alan, do you want to guess? I know you. I already know what it is. It was yeah. rated 90%. Jeez. Woo! So even, Is this the highest rated movie you guys have had on no, the show? No, we've had like some 92s and maybe <sighs> one ninety three. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah cause, they're wrong because this is the best movie you've had on the podcast. This is like a really good one. It, you, and you know, like you even texted me like, hey, is this too good for a stand? And I was like, honestly, it's so good. We should do it. Yeah. Like, I want to watch it. <laughs> but you're right, Justin, when you said this, you were like, technically, this is quote unquote bad because like it's oh, it's, it's bad. It's percent. Un, yeah. It's bad. Yeah, yeah. If this. OK, so that 90 percent you said on Google. Yes. If this got released today, that would be. Thumbs down into oblivion. I don't know oh, if... Yeah. Yeah, well, they're sure. still rating it now. You can still rate it oh, now. And so the fact that it stayed at 90, I think people did understand that this was made during a different yeah. time. Yeah. Or maybe people haven't thought about it in a while and they just... The cancel culture hasn't gotten to it Isn't yet. Isn't that crazy? Well... You <sighs> oh, shit. Maybe we're going to put it in their minds. Yeah, they mm-hmm. sort oh, of have. Fuck. I saw... I was on like just scrolling through my Twitter feed. Yeah. And people were just getting at Robert Downey Jr. Well, about this, really. you know, he's also done way worse than this, honestly, in his real Has life. Has he? Oh, yeah. Oh, in he his real life. Oh, yeah. Super <laughs> drugged all up and beating people. And he stuff. got really fucked up. Synapse is coming at you. Right at you. <laughs> well, shooting a war film, the director attempts to liven up proceedings by dropping the principal actors into the middle of a real jungle. Claiming he's going to capture their performance with hidden cameras, the hapless group, including drug-addled comedy star Jeff Portnoy and po-faced method man Kirk Lazarus, are completely unaware when a series of unfortunate events leads them into the middle of a real war zone. This movie was directed by Ben Stiller, and it had a budget of just... Ninety-two million dollars. Just ninety-two. <laughs> That's in pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, would you gentlemen like to guess how much it made in its box office recoup? Oh, geez. Two hundred. At, at least double that. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred mil. Two hundred million. One hundred and eighty. Yeah. To... Worldwide, it made a hundred and ninety-five million dollars, and that was just in its original box office run. So from, I believe it ran from August to November. Uh, August thirteenth was when it re- was released. November thirteenth was when it came out at theaters. Yeah. That's not counting. You know, our DVD sales and yeah. all of the posters and videos. The two ninety nine yeah. director's uncut version that you Correct, just bought. That yeah, still, everything. Still I would have bought action figures. I'm sure there are action figures. Oh, my God. Ben Stiller? Amazing. I want Ben Stiller no hands action figures. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know how, like, action figures nowadays, like, you can remove the hands? Yeah. So now there's, like, an option to put up blown up hands on the action the figure. The calamari fingers? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Man. Let's get right into it, guys. So this is a movie about a movie being made about a book that wasn't real. Yep. Yes. Yes. Right? It's about, I took a picture of exactly what um, it was slated as. Mm-hmm. And at the very end, when they're like winning awards for it, uh, not to jump, but it it's so ridiculous. It's a mouthful. Uh, Tropic Thunder, the true story behind the making of the most expensive fake true war story ever. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Best tagline you could have put for a movie. So and unbelievably meta. Why yes. was this, guys? Why was this the movie that you picked, Justin? We gave you an opportunity to choose, and you chose this one. Why did you choose this one? I sat on it for a bit, and I was like, "This is probably my favorite comedy ever made." Yeah, and I was like, sure. "Wow." You know what? Their podcast is about bad movies, and I thought. 
this is a fantastic movie. This doesn't fit the bill, but I, I made the argument that if it was released, you it's, know, it's inappropriate for sure. Yeah. It is. Oh yeah. Oh God. They yeah. would have been crucified. But I think it passes still because, and I've said it before, like, with comedians, they could say some things that are out of pocket, like not enough to cancel them, of course. But like, as long as it's funny and like, it's like a you got me type of humor, right? Yeah, yeah. Then it's fine because like I don't want to bring it up quite yet, but like we're obviously going to spend a good portion of this podcast talking about like Robert Downey Jr. portraying <laughs> an actor portraying a black man. Right? He's literally in sure. blackface. He yes. is in blackface. Yeah. Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Actual Robert Downey Jr. Had is just in blackface yeah. in 2008. Because the issue is... It wasn't racist then. No, 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 it was definitely was. It was, was. for sure. It was for sure. Okay. <laughs> 100%. This is why I think it passed. Before we jump into the movie of it, I think it passed because he's not being derogatory toward uh, black people. No, he's not at all. He's to making method f- actors. He's a he's yeah being derogatory toward both method actors and like uh, specifically. Uh, Careful now. How do, how do I articulate this? Let's just say, yeah, method actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there you go. Well, just he's making fun of that whole idea of it, right? You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. And and the whole blackface thing is, it it doesn't it, really apply here. Yeah, it, it doesn't really apply here. That's yeah. not the joke. The joke is yeah. his parody of method actors who. You know, I mean, in 2008, if Daniel Day Lewis did that, or if Christian Bale did that, I don't think any of us would actually have bat an eye. We'd actually yeah. be like, "Yeah, of course, Christian Bale should play Martin Luther King. That's exactly <laughs> who they should cast." Mm. And, and now, 2021, that is a perfect cast. Now oh my we would God. be upset. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Here, it, what it is, it's a it's a joke, and it's especially having um, it's a criticism. Al Pacino, <laughs> the the oh, other Pacino, black guy, yeah. the oh, actual yeah, black guy yeah, in this yeah, film, yeah. point out how offensive it yeah. was. Yes. Saved. It Absolutely. because they're pointing fun at it. Yeah, because it is a criticism. Yes. They know it's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yep. They yep. know it's it wrong. It is a parody and a criticism of method acting in blackface yeah. altogether. Uh, just to close it off, I know uh, I read that Robert Downey Jr. when uh, he read this, he was like a little uh, Tim. Not he, he was just uh, back and forth about doing it. Of course, yeah, because of what it what oh. meant. But he wanted so badly to work with Ben Stiller. If he was and he liked super gung ho about taking a blackface <laughs> character, I'd be like. Mm, I don't know. He went yeah. to Ben Stiller with the story and was like, so I want to do blackface. <laughs> and Ben Stiller was like, say no more. I have the script here. Yes. Yep. I've been working on this f- for years. It's mm. weird. I've been waiting for you to come I've, to me. I've written you into blackface for so many movies, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> so I have the story of Martin Luther King. I have the story of Thomas Edison by a black man. Yep. I have the story of George Washington Carver. Can you imagine? Just... Peanut butter man. <laughs> Can you imagine just 12 Years a Slave starring Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> oh but everybody else is still the same. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Norbit. <laughs> so Robert Downey Jr. So he's Norbit. playing 12 black people. They take a direct shot at Norbert in this film oh, with Jack do. Black's character. Jack Black channeling like he said he was channeling like uh chris farley for sure he's doing yeah. the, his character's name is jake portnoy which uh, reminds me a lot of dave portnoy from mm-hmm. barstool sports mm-hmm. um they have completely different people completely different characters is it jake or jeff jeff portnoy right jeff jeff, jeff. yeah oh, jeff jeff a much fatter name than jake i would in my opinion but. jeff is a way fatter person than jake yeah jeff yeah. my middle name is jeff <laughs> No, it's well, not. You're Jeffrey. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, let's get into it. I'm yeah. so excited. The movie opens unconventionally like any other movie. We see like three extra trailers. Dude, I had to like press back because I thought it's like skip to like minute 10 because it starts off with like, uh, the, is it the booty sweat commercial? Yes, booty sweat booty I think sweat. is the first. Booty sweat and bust a nut bar. <laughs> Booty sweat. <laughs> I forgot about Bust a Nut Bar. So when I saw that again, I was like, I completely, I remember the Booty best. Sweat. I completely forgot Bust a Nut Bar. And when he's like, hey man, you want to bust a nut? <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a promotional tie in when this movie came out, they sold Booty Sweat. It was they an did. actual energy yeah. drink. And they yes. sold it in the theaters. Dude, How brilliant yes. is that? Imagine if you had bought it, never opened it, and just preserved it. Do you guys oh. remember Hyphy Juice? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Remember when Hyphy yeah. Juice was a thing? Yeah, I so, grew up in the Bay Area. When I saw, when when I saw Booty Sweat, I was like, oh, that's, that's, the making fun of hyphy juice hyphy like juice, that's right? hyphy juice for sure and so like at 7-eleven they'd be like booty sweat hyphy juice red lines <laughs> and i'd be like i want the red line yeah. right I, that's the one i want oh man we should have stocked up on that booty well, sweat. you know what if i could go back in time i would buy real four locos i would actual collect sweat off of a booty <laughs> you guys have never had the uh old school four locos yeah. no yeah we have yeah. oh good for you my yes. underage drinking was oh, comprised yeah. the first time oh, i yeah. played edward 40 hands was with two original four locos. you got strapped up yeah taped 
Yeah. Well, yeah. Strapped. You strapped guys up. strapped up. Strapped two up guns to a party. With four locos? Yeah, bro. And you are alive. Well, yeah. I mean, you know. Presumably. I, mm-hmm. I, I think this is the real world. This is why he wears his sunglasses, because if you look into his eyes, he's really dead on the inside. Yeah, he's like bloodshot <laughs> and dead. Um, so Booty Sweat was the commercial it opened up with. The next thing was... Scorcher trailer. Scorcher. Scorcher, Scorcher 7? Yeah. Six. Scorcher seven. I think it went up yeah. to 6. Yeah. This time it's cold or whatever the fuck the And that's why was. it's so excusable. They these are Hollywood A-listers making fun of Hollywood A-listers. But yes, they're caricatures yeah. of themselves or the Absolutely. land that they live in. And yeah, then they yeah, also yeah. got A-listers in this film. I mean, my favorite commercial with Robert Downey Jr. and Toby Maguire playing. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> The best. When I first saw Tobey Maguire, I was like, is that Tobey Maguire? And then it like 100% is and it Tobey says, Maguire. Tobey, Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. Starring Tobey Maguire. So, yeah, MTV Awards, People's Choice for Best, best Kiss. Because kiss. he got that from <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah, Remember him and Kirsten yeah. Dunst won that for Spider-Man. Uh, I love in that trailer, they're both praying at the candles, yep. and he starts touching his rosary. rosary. <laughs> and then they touch hands, and it's like, oh, yeah. man. Oh. We did that in church once. No, oh, no, uh, no. And then, and then there's also Jeff Portnoy's Fatties commercial for Fatties, yeah. too. Yes. It's absolute Which is somewhere between the, Tyler of, Perry, Norbert. I was thinking Eddie Murphy. Yeah, and Eddie yeah, Murphy. The yeah. whole way. A yeah. fat version of Eddie Murphy. Yeah, he did great, w- though. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. I love that character. Yeah. It's uh, a parody out of love. Mm-hmm, definitely. Aren't and they all? I even love... No. <laughs> Not at all. Later on, they give more context as to like what types of stars they are. So like Jeff Portnoy, we uh, immediately find out that he is a heavily addicted to, to drugs. So he's yeah. on the red carpet like Like heroin. Spazzing. He's like snorting mm-hmm. heroin. Yes. And Jack Black was perfectly casted for that. So the best line, I know we're jumping ahead, but it's not the video. The best line is when they when Jay Baruchel sneaks up on him when he's putting some of his nondescript drug in his <laughs> yeah. hand. Oh, the And he's like, hey, what do you do? He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm eating jelly beans. He's like, dude, oh, cool. Can I have dude. some? He's like, no, you can't have any of my jelly beans. Boundaries. <laughs> dude, and a bat takes his jelly beans? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> he takes the bat and he eats, eats of yeah, the yeah. bat. There's, I, I, we will get to it later, but Julie sent me some cool notes. There's only <laughs> there's only three deaths in the entire film. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Very, very wholesome. The bat. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. The director. <laughs> yes, yeah, he yeah. blows up. Steve Coogan. And the panda. Oh, Aww. the panda! Andy. Those are the only That's three deaths right. we see he on gets screen. Skinned and worn. Oh my god! That's one of the funniest things because when what, I know we're but when Ben Stiller calls his agent, he's like, "I killed the panda. I'm wearing the panda right now." And he's just like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> well, like he, he calls uh, Matthew McConaughey saying like. I did something bad. I killed my favorite thing in the world. He was just like, hookers? A hooker? <laughs> a hookers? You killed a hooker? All right. What you got to do? You got to do uh, You got to do this. You got to do that. Okay. Let's, uh... let's go. So the movie is being filmed. It's a Vietnam era film based on a book written by Nick Nolte, who supposedly lost his hands at the war. And, four uh, leaf. Uh, there was four ten, leaf. 10 people went in. Mm-hmm. And nine people came out. Four people survived. One person, three people wrote, wrote a, book. a book. One person got the book made into a movie, a movie yeah. deal. Yeah. <laughs> And that was the movie we are watching, Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Ben Stiller wrote this because uh, back in like uh, the 80s, he started a movie called Empire of the Sun. And oh. then like they got interviewed and he thought it was so ridiculous that people that uh, – there are people in the movie that starred in uh, – what was the pl- – uh, Platoon? Platoon. I was going to say Empire of the Sun has like uh, – um, A bunch of Platoon members. Yeah. Right? And so like they had to go to an actual boot camp and he was thinking it's so ridiculous because – Actual oh. war is nothing like a war movie. I want to make a movie about these interviews and the That's behind the amazing. scenes. I had no idea about the Empire. What is it? Empire, Empire of the, the Sun. Sun. I Empire forgot. Empire of the Sun. That's yeah. such an intense movie, too. Crazy, right? Wow. And so he made this movie. Tobey Maguire will start in this because he oh, he wanted to do Ben Stiller a favor because they were both uh, castmates on Wonder Boys, Wonder Years, what was it? Wonder Years was a sitcom. Wonder something. I I read up on that. But yes, there's just so much behind the scenes with this. And I love it. Yeah. I do too. I'm blowing I'm being mm-hmm. flabbergasted as we speak. Uh Ben Stiller's character, his name is Tug. He is like the Tug Speedman. Tug Speedman is the high profile actor who makes the films that nobody likes. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's like the Fast and Furious. Well, the... people like those movies. Well, yeah, people watch those movies, yeah. is what you mean to say. Yeah. I love those movies. Yeah. He loves them, but like, yeah, I get it. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. extremely those action oriented. action star, taken type. Yes. He's yes. definitely a, a falling star. 
is what it is. Yeah, He's absolutely. trying to save his career. Scorcher 1, 2, and 3 are, are probably the best ones. Yeah. Right? Scorcher 4, <laughs> 5, I think they're kind of losing it. Scorcher okay. 6, by the time they go okay. to the Ice Age, I think they've pretty much beaten that horse to glue. Yeah. To the yeah. point where he's trying to tackle different roles mm-hmm. like Simple Jack. Simple Jack. And that's kind of the amazing part, right? Every single actor has their own kind of struggle that they're trying to remedy. This is the movie yes. that's supposed to save them all, right? Yes. Yes. Like, exactly. This, they all read the script yep. supposedly and were like... This is it. This is going to save me. This is going to jumpstart my career. For all of them, they're yeah. all wishing on a prayer that this is the movie that's going to make them. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So we have uh, 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 Ben Stiller's character. Tug Speedman. Tug Speedman. He is a dying actor, action star. He Fresh hasn't shattered. put anything anything good. No. Mm-hmm. He's well, hoping Simple for a Jack new start. Well, Simple Jack was good. Compared, uh, some people think it's really good. Yeah. Well, oh, he the... went... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... We have, we have uh, Jack Black's character who is doing nothing but farts. Nothing, nothing but farts. Uh, honestly, of the fake movies that we saw, I would watch that one, and that I'm, one would it would be on our show. <laughs> we would be doing farts part two for yeah, it can't be that bad. I don't think I can defend we it. Would what was the name of the, his actual movie? Farts part two. Yeah, was it farts? No, far, no, 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 no. Something something fart two. What the uh, the fart like, two? The fats? Were, fatties, the fatties part two. Fatties, 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 fatties part two. two. Yeah, and then we have the struggling rapper who wants Al Pacino. To, Al Pacino. <laughs> Al, who's Alpha a closeted Chino. who's a closeted homosexual, yeah. which is so opposite because that's the joke is that yep. he's so uh, he objectifies women with bust a nut and uh, booty, booty sweat, sweat and being this rapper that talks yep. about like just getting it in. That uh-huh. role of Alp Chino was originally offered to Kevin Hart. <gasps> no, I can Kevin see Hart that. did not want to play that role. He did wanted nothing to do with out. it. He didn't want. What was Al Pacino's uh, actor's name? Man. Oh, I have it here. Say, Something T. Jackson, right? Yep. His name yep. is... Brandon T. Jackson. Brandon T. Jackson. Yeah. Damn. So His have... best role is Lottery Ticket. Just throwing that out there. Great movie Lottery also. Lottery Ticket. Yeah, I good seen movie. It. With Bow Wow. But you have those three and uh, the struggling new actor. Jay uh, Baruchel. Jay Baruchel. Yep. Kevin. Fantastic. What the fuck was his name? And that's the entire joke of the movie yeah, is that absolutely. no one ever remembers yeah. his name. I know his first name's Kevin. Everyone calls him Kyle. Well, he has a kind of a little bit of a pedophile name. He has his last name is Sandusky. Sandusky. Oh, Sandusky. Ooh. Sandusky. You know what? Was that before or after the Sandusky? Way uh, before. No, people yeah. still thought Jerry Sandusky was a good guy. A good coach. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, oh. hey. <laughs> he does so much good for those kids in Dude, the that shower. Dude, sucks that this that name is Sandusky, suck. man. And then we have the method actor, uh, Kurt, Laz- Kurt Lazarus. Lazarus. Who is trying to prove himself as the best method actor yes. ever by yes. getting a skin, a skin <laughs> augmentation <laughs> surgery. And That's eye right. augmentation. Oh, well, no, I guess he's technically wearing Every, it. Well, those Every, are contacts, yeah. right? He does, he does contacts, yeah. He does a, uh, a, a pigment augmentation and then contacts, and yeah. then he also gets like a cherry curl. Or <laughs> yeah, he gets like a wig. It's a wig. It's a wig. Because he takes it off at the end. I do he, think the oh, best part is when right. he later on, when he's pretending to be a nondescript rice farmer, they've now painted his face white again. Yeah, so oh. he's like kind of white. White face over black face. Over white Over face. a white man. He was a white actor playing a white man. Playing, playing a, a black, black man, man pretending, pretending to, be to be an Asian man. Or Asian rice farmer. Oh, wow. I, lo- I, I can't wait till we get to the part where they talk about, yeah, like, yeah. where they're calling each other, you're the dude playing the dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I'm is a, a dude. I'm a dude playing a dude. So we have all these protagonists trying to prove themselves. Which is already a great foundation. Absolutely. Because what comedies usually lack in cinema, like, just throwaway comedies, what they lack is just, like, uh, character depth. Even though they're... Uh, character depth. Depth and background, yes, depth for sure. Uh, and the, even though they're caricatures, <laughs> yes, um, they what did you think I said? Death, <laughs> yeah, character death is uh, such a good <laughs> you yeah. gotta kill the main character. Shakespeare got it when Glenn died. <laughs> Spoilers, <laughs> is that a walking dead? <laughs> walking? Hey, I wasn't gonna let it be a spoiler until you said walking dead. <laughs> oh, whoops, a lot of people named Glenn right. died. Maybe something about Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always be go. dying. Uh huh. So, this movie is just so. It's unconventional because it starts off in the jungles. Yeah. Yes. And like, I love when they're because the first scene, it looks like an actual war movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, we yeah. don't know they're shooting the movie because then Ben Stiller comes out getting shot and just shaking his chest. <laughs> platoon first. style. Oh my god! Yeah, platoon. Long. Absolutely. Do, the do, famous, do, 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 do. the famous scene from it is platoon, right? Platoon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the helicopter scene and Jay Baruchel has his guts coming out. He's oh, like, I think yeah. I could put it back in. What even is this? <laughs> That was it's so gross. So gross, man. So gross. Jack Black hanging off the helicopter, the... dude. He's like one armed. He's like, like, my ass hurts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I get down? Because Ben Stiller and Robert Downey Jr. 
are struggling to get the crying scene out because <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is crying and that's not what his character is supposed to do. Spitting and he's drool. Like, uh, <laughs> 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 just like spit everywhere, yes. just all over Ben Stiller. It's amazing. Just ready to cry. Yeah. And they are wasting film. They are wasting time. And worst mm-hmm. of all, they waste a four million dollar explosion of napalm. That's right. With or, an airplane yeah. flyby, with C four, they ruin everything. Dude, Danny McBride as the uh, what, explosive the demolitionist. Ex- demolitionist. Yes. Oh my god. Perfectly. Classed. What a great role. I don't see him as anything else. In no. fact, every role after that, I was like, that's the guy from Tropic Thunder. He blows no. shit up. Yeah. I always see him as Eastbound and Down. That's what a lot of people also see him yeah. as. Yeah. I see him but as Eastbound and Down. You know down. what? One and the same. The, same honestly, it's the same, same character. Fuck, the same character. Yeah, 30 minutes it well, or less. Right? It's, yeah, he, he yeah, knows what he's doing. Absolutely. He well. um, he's typecast into that type of guy. So good. It's perfect. And what, then, you okay? Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Let's, let's keep moving with it. What was the... I was just saying, when Ben Stiller calls his agent, played yeah. by... Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey, who is doing the least amount of acting I think Matthew McConaughey has ever done. I think that is Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. Just Originally, under- it was supposed to be Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. But he was going through the whole suicide thing at the time. Whoa. Wilson was going through the whole suicide? Hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't know about that? Hard know break. About that. Yeah, this is news yeah, to yeah, me. Yes, yes. Enlighten us, please. I don't know like the whole story, but like he was just in a bad mental state. Yeah. At one point. Oh, and you know, like I don't know if it was like depression or something, but Well, yeah, you're probably he, not happy if you're thinking about suicide. Right. Yeah. yeah. But on a positive note, he's doing a lot better. Yeah, I've seen Loki, Loki and all great. that stuff. Oh, like, yeah. but, yeah. oh my god, I love him yeah. and Loki. Owen Wilson would have been great in this actually. He would have been yeah. but <laughs> McConaughey does a great job. McConaughey. And McConaughey's right hand man is Les Grossman. Yes. Played by Les Grossman is Matthew McConaughey's right hand man. Yes, yeah, that's the, the other way, way around. Yes, by the yes. Okay, Les fair, Grossman fair. is a he's the man in charge. Alpha Tom he, fucking Cruise with oversized I, hands. I have met people that did not know that that <gasps> was Tom Cruise. I didn't know that was it was Tom Cruise. The first time I, I watched it, it I didn't Cruise. know until the credits. You're <gasps> fucking kidding I me, dude! Serious, I had no idea that was him until the that credits. That makes it so much it does. better. It really. Yeah. I saw does. that and I was like. Holy shit, this is the greatest role that Tom Cruise has had. <laughs> yes. You watch that with the naivety mm-hmm. that that was not Tom Cruise. It's like the first That's time actually watching beautiful. Ocean's Eleven. That is beautiful. Oh. Yeah. I do love that. I love you. A lot yeah. of the, those... <laughs> and I love you too. Um, Alan, I love you as well. Um, those I, lines, a lot of those lines were improvised. And obviously the dance moves were improvised. And it was yeah. Tom Cruise's idea uh, for all, the, all of it. the facial makeup mm-hmm. and especially the prosthetic hands. Oh, that weirdly... Big hands. The sausage phalanges. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I was looking at that the other day and I was like, the other day. I was looking at that and I was like, those are like kind of big hands. I wonder if those, those are, are prosthetics. Super and I'm like, huge finger. And I was like, no, those are like, those are Tom Cruise's hands. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Time out. Is that the voice in your head? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Kato, <laughs> Kato Callen, the surfer boy who was yeah. there at the OJ Simpson trial? Yeah, those are like totally Tom Those are totally his hands, those bro. Those are totally his hands. Duper oh, man. Look at your hand. own hands. Yeah. I think Tom Cruise, when he's screaming into the phone, is how he treats his servants. <laughs> Dude, I, don't, I can't guess anything about that Scientology oh, man. Oh, God. So. He's like, get me! The fucking spaceship, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. I'm Scient- the new son. Whatever Scientologist. Well, I'm sure about. he still demands Diet Coke like he did yeah, in this movie. Absolutely. That, yeah, was that wasn't part- acting. Oh, that wasn't acting. At <laughs> yeah, all. Was Ben real. Stiller was rolling, and they went with it. <laughs> They're like Ben Stiller looked at the camera, goes like, "Keep it going, keep it going." This is good stuff. This is good. Stuff. This is good Bill stuff. Hader as his assistant. Yes. So many big names. There's so many big names attached to this film. Bill Hader, Tobey Maguire, Matthew McConaughey, Tom Cruise, all who do less than 15 lines. Steve Coogan. Yes. Yeah. Steve Coogan gets Steve blown Coogan. up. He's in the, the first 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. He's the director who steps on a landmine and is obliterated. Mm-hmm. That's when the movie really does pick mm-hmm. up, though. When they're... Yeah. When Nick Nolte, Four Leaf, says, like, if you want a real movie... You gotta put them into the fucking trenches. Yeah, and so they like fly out to this like remote part adjacent to Vietnam. They're not even in Vietnam. Yeah, anymore. they're Cambodia, right? I don't know what it is. Something I don't know like if they that. Say exactly. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Just to not offend anyone, I'm sure they chose like an ambiguous, fictitious place. Not yeah. as ambiguous as No Escape, though. That was super ambiguous, but, right? Um, so they go to this non nondescript place. There's hidden cameras. Cockburn says he's gonna he's gonna record it from the shadows. Immediately steps on a landmine, and they're all like. Guys, this is it. 
he's playing with our heads. This is Hollywood magic. This is exactly like Ben Stiller <laughs> has the head on his hand. He's like, look how fake this is. Yeah, he's he, like, this is uh, blood flavored uh, corn syrup. He's like, oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. So funny. And everyone else is like, I think he's actually dead. Yeah. And the Viet, not the Viet Cong. What are no, they? They're, uh, they're, the, they're the three-headed dragon. Uh, no. Flaming uh, dragon. Flaming dragon. Flaming, flaming dragon. 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 Three-headed dragon's my penis. See this. Excuse you? What? You should the, see a doctor, man. <laughs> I, have yeah. one, I have an appointment for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, but the flaming dragon see the director explode, and yeah. they see Ben Stiller's character mm-hmm. just lick the blood up mm-hmm. and are just like, Oh God! Oh, this man not afraid of death. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are psycho. Yes, they're, they're the yeah. American war dogs that they've been warned the about. GIs. Mm-hmm. They call. They think they're DEA because obviously the mm-hmm. the flaming dragon. They're running a heroin. Yeah. Yes. Business. I, opium. I think they're not even making the heroin yet. They're just literally growing mm. the opium plants. Yes. Yeah. Um. And so they am- ambush them, and these men loaded with blanks take on an entire ambush <laughs> just ben by Stiller. being crazy. Uh, ben Stiller on his knees with two like AKs, just yeah. like or two ARs, ARs. ARs. and uh, he's looking great. M- M- he's looking M- great M- doing it. Yeah, big yeah. arms, big Absolutely, arms. His yeah. arms were huge. I said that immediately. Ben Stiller looks great in this film. Best he's looked in almost any film. Seriously, yes. yeah. Yes. Unironically, Ben Stiller pumped Yoked. up. Try for this movie and looks the best he's ever more looked. buff than he was as what Walter the guy Mitty. that. Uh, Walter Mitty did look hella buff. Walter, Walter Mitty was great. He was in shape, but not as buff. I was going to say Dodgeball because he was supposed oh, to be buffish in Dodgeball because yeah. he owns yeah. the gym. I think Dodgeball yeah. was a body suit for most of it. Uh, was it really? I don't think he's actually that. Well, I don't know. We'll have to take a look at it. Oh. I think a lot of it was body suit. What a lie. <laughs> well, you know, aren't they all? You're what a lie. Can better we, shape can than we he was that? in heavyweights. Better shape than he was in heavyweights. Oh, duh. I, oh, wait, actually, he was really. He was. Ri- he had six pack in heavyweights. Because he's making fun of all the fat kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. Do you think, not to detract too much, do you think... The heavyweights camp director I'm is the same character from Dodgeball. Like after he got kicked out of camp, he went and opened Globo Gym. I don't know, but I love I love teasing these hypotheticals, and I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> like like all of Adam yeah. Sandler films are in the same world. Same universe, man. Uh, so they fight off an ambush. They decide to go and follow the map, but they have to follow Ben Stiller because he's the leader of the group. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't know what he's doing. They are going 100% well, the wrong direction. Well, you know what? He knows what he's doing. He knows the script, though. And, mm-hmm. and that might be all he knows. That's it. Yeah. He's just like, okay, let's do, let's do the torture scene next. He, yeah, him and the new guy, uh, J. Jay Baruchel, are the only ones that know the script. I love that at all. Jay Baruchel read the book and no one else did. I love that <laughs> because so I funny. feel like a lot of Hollywood A listers will just take roles sometimes. Yeah, oh, yeah. if they need without, the money, they're just like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Michael J. Fox signed on to do Back to the Future without reading the script. Yeah. They, uh, hand, they handed it to him in an envelope. He had that in one hand. He had a script for Family Ties in the other. And he goes, I'll take it. Honestly, wow. what an alpha. That's an alpha move. Yeah, totally alpha move. I freak out when I have options. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, baby. Applebee's then. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Two for 20? I don't know. I, I can only choose one. It's so they, they, they set off on their journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're going, uh, and Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro, I wish Robert De Niro had Robert Downey Jr. as well. <laughs> Robert, Robert, Robert Downey. Robert, thank you. Well, you have to you go Robert next to you on the other there. side as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Robert De Niro. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. For you listeners, we have pillows with uh, these famous actors on it. And for you listeners, check out our YouTube page, you schmucks. Yeah. Yes. This um, is the guy in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> but Robert, can you imagine Robert De Niro in this role? Yeah. So oh, this, God, so but good. closer to Christian Shade. <laughs> <laughs> almost exactly uh, Christian Shade. Almost, almost, almost exactly I'll Christian Shade. I'll take it, man. You should have done yeah, that yeah, role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never do that role. Yeah. <laughs> well, the way that uh, he was portraying it was of like it was obviously and purposefully offensive. It was because what did what does Al Pacino call him? Like Chicken George, right? He's, he's doing <laughs> yeah. the Chicken George. Uh, yeah, Chicken impression. George is rough. Yeah, and so I mean that's what makes it good is that he's criticizing it. Well, and that's when, when they make the joke of like, you people, and Robert De Niro's like, huh, or Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck on Robert De Niro. Hey, and Robert, what do you mean, you what people? What do you mean, you people? <laughs> and, then, and then Al Pacino's like, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> Such a great joke, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful writing, mm-hmm. man. And or like every single time like uh, Robert Downey Jr. grabs him, he's just like, we have been oppressed. <laughs> For 400 years. My brother's, 
My brothers don't understand. Bro- <laughs> that is totally like a, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, like was... I, I feel like that has to, you know, happen. Art oh. imitates life. Yes. Or does life imitate art? Shut up. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. has to be, has to be referring to somebody who method acts like that. I think Robert Downey Jr. method acts like that. When he did Charlie Chaplin, he was deep into Charlie Chaplin yeah, method acting. I think, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think he read, like, Daniel Day-Lewis was definitely someone that he embodied. He, in was, doing the, he was the method actor at the time. Him, maybe Christian Bale. Yeah. Well, apparently, Robert Downey Jr. actually did method act for this. So, like, off camera, he still played the role of uh, Sergeant Osiris. Yeah, oh, shit. Specifically Sergeant Osiris. Right. He said in the movie. Mm-hmm. I don't break character. Shit. I'm until, gonna get... <laughs> until the movie's uh, over. Until the DVD commentary. The DVD commentary. You gotta stay in character until the like commentary. That. So there's an actual DVD commentary for Tropic Thunder, and he does the commentary mm-hmm. in the voice of Sergeant Osiris. Unbelievable. Crazy, man. man. Unbelievable commitment. It, it, it is. And, you know, they don't just let it be. Like, they call it out, right? Like we said. Yeah. Al Pacino calls him out a number of times yeah. that he's doing. He's like, you're and an honestly, Australian. Uh, when did Iron Man come out? 2008, Alan, 2008, can we, 2008. Can we, 2008. Alan knows I know, I know by heart, man. <laughs> he knows his Marvel stuff. So we're talking, <gasps> we're talking about Robert right, Downey Jr. Right. At the same time. And Iron Man. These came out in the same year. Yes, yes. Same year. Yes. Oh, Bla- oh good thing he. Jesus good thing Disney didn't see this before they let him Christ. do Iron Man. Oh my Disney God. would not have let him it do Iron Man. It was too late, man. Well, and, but Stan Lee gave him the blessing of, he was he was made to be Tony Stark. <laughs> Stan Lee's else here. Oh, <laughs> well done. I, I have to pee a little bit. Go ahead, pee. I'm gonna talk to these guys. I yeah, I have to pee after him. So maybe we'll just, no, yeah. we're all peeing. Yeah. Can you say hi to Tyrone? Tyrese. <laughs> I'm a fucking racist. <laughs> Alan doesn't even know him. We made a what? joke about a big black man in our bathroom in this uh, last episode, oh and we called him Tyrese. Tyrese. Yeah, that ass, this might be your last episode. That's <laughs> it after that. Um, Alan, okay, where are we at with the uh, in terms of uh, the story? Because uh, so we we're, got, we're, we're still going yeah. through like them going through the forest. Flaming uh, Dragon had just ambushed us. Yes, and Flaming we're... Dragon ambushed them. We talked about the you people thing, yeah. and then Tug goes off on his own. Yes. Oh, okay. It separates from the other actors. So, so yeah, what is next chronologically? Um, well, they, Tug, Tug kills the panda okay. before he gets caught up, right? And he's a WWF or WWF? WFF? Yeah, World or Wildlife. Uh, fuck, whatever. Yeah. The World Wrestling Federation. World Wrestling Um, But uh, Tug is like, it's like raining. He's like under the shelter. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yup, yup. And then he kills a fucking panda in the fucking night. So, cr- <laughs> yeah. I, I was. I remember watching this, and I was like, "Wait, what the fuck does he kill?" Like, I remember he like yeah. regrets what what's happening because he had a a, a foundation, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so yes. we'll talk. Yeah. That's what it was. I'm so happy you got to see this for the first time yeah, in its entirety. Man. Like I saw it in bits. Like seriously, what did you think of it? Like I was cool with it, and then as it kept going, and then yeah. just watching Robert Downey Jr., I'm like. It's, it's it's a like, little hard harsh, to laugh man. at, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wonder how he feels now in 2021 oh, no. about having to act that Hashtag no regrets for him. He's fine. He's he's set, man. He's set. Yeah, he's, he's set. got that Iron Man money for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, but then Doolittle set him back a little oh, bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they use a Sherlock, the that Sherlock contract really locked. <laughs> I don't know up. if I could ever do that on the podcast. Yeah, I gotta pee. Yeah, yeah. You have to pee, Christian. No, I'm good. No, Christian oh. has a bladder like a camel. Yeah, I'm good. I'm fucking pretty sure I have yeah. ten kidney stones. Dude, I'm fucking like hunched over at the piece of that. Oh no! Jesus Christ! <sighs> I feel so much monsters. better. <laughs> um, um. So uh, we're at the part where uh, so they separate pretty much, and then Ben St- or Ben Stiller, but Tug, Tug, yeah, he's like in shelter under the rain. Killed the panda. Killed the panda. Yeah. Gets That's caught where up. we're at. Yeah, and he still thinks he's in. Uh, they're still. So when he's like tied up to the log that they're like bringing him in, he's like, he says something to the drug smugglers and he's like, wait, let me, let me say the line again. And they're like, <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? It's funny too. Cause there was like a camera on the building, right? Yeah. 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 Like a security camera or some shit, which is kind of So he random, thinks that's one of the like, fake cameras yeah, from, yeah, that yeah. the yeah. director set up. Yeah. But it's, it's good because he doesn't really realize that he's in, in a real world situation until they're like, you're Jack. Yeah. Well, until like the, the. A preteen drug lord 
like beats the <laughs> oh, shit out of him uh, with the butt of a gun. Tran, Tran, Tran. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought he kind of noticed it when he was getting like dunked in the water. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. He was, he was like, like what? stop. Cut. Cut. Yeah, yeah. Saying to the director, cut. Damien, cut. cut. Damien, cut. <laughs> Um, are you maybe I don't know when he exactly realized it, but I think it was when he was getting beat the shit out of by Tran. I and they're like, Yeah, yeah, I do love that. He's like, We know you, we have this VHS of you, and he's like, Oh, you have it on VHS, VHS, the no, only movie we have, <laughs> <laughs> straight up. Like. I love that they love and idolize him as Simple Jack, but still beat the yeah, shit out of him, yeah, and like, oh, they make him reenact the whole movie. On like, stage. On this, like, ghetto stage, yeah. And it ruins Ben Stiller because he's like, these are my people. They like my acting. <laughs> well, he's these getting, people respect me. He's getting appreciation and respect that he never got in Hollywood. Well, you know, maybe he didn't Even, deserve. like, uh, the small little Asian boy that he calls <laughs> Half Squat half brings squat, him, yeah. uh, brings him like, a wooden... Oh, oh, an Oscar made of twigs. And he's like, my son made this for me. <laughs> yeah, you are now my son. You could call me Papa. <laughs> I get it. Unbelievable. It's so fucking funny, dude. Um, and like while this is all happening, like uh when he's doing that play of uh-huh. Simple Jack, the rest of his squad is just looking at him. Yeah. And they're they, just trying to devise a plan to rescue him. Yeah, they're scouting pretty they're, much. They're now. trying to save him, but before before we get to that, Jack has his his um withdrawals from not having drugs oh, where he's convinced yeah. everybody to tie him to a tree and he's like yeah. and he tells me he's like I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna act like I'm okay and, and don't untie me and sure enough as soon as he gets like that he's like guys whew, that was crazy right I'm good I'm good now you can cut me down you can I'm cut good. me down don't cut me the fuck down I'm good my favorite part about that is when he says to well so okay Al Pacino they're all confiding at each other right yeah and uh, they're all talking about like, are you? Wait- do you have a girl waiting for you at home? Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, Kirk Lazarus had like a brief dating stint with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jay Baruchel is in <laughs> love with Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> That's right. He went, gets her at the end. And gets her at the end. And now they ask Al Pacino, like, do you got someone like waiting for you? And he's like, I can't wait to see Lance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what's her name? Lance. Lance. Yeah. What? Lance? Did you say Lance? Did you say Lance? No, no, I didn't know. I didn't say that. No, I, I said Nance. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. I said, man, I said, man. Hey, man, everybody's a little bit gay. Every, yeah, everybody's gay sometimes, right? You know, <laughs> my favorite thing is when we see later on who Lance is. It's Lance, Lance, Lance Bass. Bass from oh NSYNC, my God, dude. dude. Tearing up my heart. Yeah. Uh, I was not thinking about it's, that yeah. either. When he says Lance, Jack Black is still trying to get untied from the tree. He's just like, Al Pacino. I'll, I'll suck your dick right yeah. now, man. <laughs> yeah, what does he say exactly? I'll, I'll cradle the balls, I'll take yep. care of the shaft, and I'll, I'll swallow the gravy. Oh I'll God. swallow the gravy. You know what? The worst part is, is like, <laughs> I'll swallow the gravy. And it's this little thing he does that's fantastic. I'll, I'll swallow the gravy. Yes. <laughs> he moves his jaw back and forth. <laughs> like, And that's what... That's what differentiates like a basic bitch actor from like <laughs> someone from a real fucking dick sucker. Like right. Jack <laughs> Black, who for his character, will suck dick and swallow gravy just oh, so he knows. Dude, no. he spent eight months as a panda. Did you know that? Pardon? Wait. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, she's like, hold, hold on a second. Is this Tropic Thunder lore? Because I kind of <laughs> believe it. Jack Black played the, played the panda. Did you know that? Whoa! I could believe it. He's the body type. <laughs> Dude, I well, what I'm trying to say is that if you have the ability to already take extremely funny lines from the script and make it even funnier, yeah, that's real talent. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, no, it was perfectly casted. I can't see it casted any other way, yeah, other than I'm curious now to see a Kevin Hart in that role, yeah, Kevin Hart, Al Pacino. I think that maybe would have been a little over the top, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, because I don't mean. Uh, remember why he got kicked out of the Oscars? Because of those old tweets about how he doesn't like gay people or something Oh, I like don't that? give a shit about... Well, I do give a shit about But that's that. why he didn't take the role. Because he doesn't want to have to... He didn't want to have to play a role where he would kiss a man. Oh, mm. unbelievable. Yep. Is that real? Yep. Wow. Oh, shit. Because he... Because the kiss happened at the very end. At the Oscars, right? And Kevin Hart didn't want to do it. Oh, what? they didn't even kiss. He just put his arm around Lance Bass. Did they not kiss? They didn't I kiss. I don't know. I'm sure there's a... a see, there's a cut where they kiss. Maybe the I, director's guy? Wow. I, I, I searched up on it. Kevin Hart, Tropic, Tropic Thunder, first article says, I won't play a gay character. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. 
That Cause, is. Cause, look, we all know the kind of apology tour he went on when he got kicked out of the Oscars. But the truth of the matter is, like, yeah, his old jokes and his stuff, like, he was not cool. It's not anything to wow. diminish Kevin Hart, but that's just how he was. We all grew up in an era where that wasn't okay. You couldn't even joke with it in some places, and Honestly, so he wasn't even a, in in the community he grew up in. Yeah, you couldn't I, I even joke it. it. I see. That's it. why he was so. Yeah, I Whoa. hope he's grown from that. He he says he has, and yeah, like, and sure of course he has. That was 10, but, 20 years ago. You know, he grew up in you know. Uh, like Philly, right? Dark Philly, too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what do you mean dark? What do you mean, <laughs> you people? The sun doesn't shine there. It's all in shade. <laughs> but but he did. He did grow up in yeah. in kind of the 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 harder part of Philly. So I wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I don't That's know. news to me, and I love this We're, movie. We well, yeah. we blown your mind at least three times so far. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like what I've learned from doing this podcast is that it's more so even just objectively, ju- uh, more so than objectively just a film, uh-huh. but like all the shit that happens behind the scenes and what made the film. Mm-hmm. That is a lot. Yeah. A lot of that changes it. Yeah. yeah. Changes it for sure. Yeah. Um, so what happens next? <sighs> so much, man. Honestly, um, they they have to mount an assault to save Tugboat. Tug. Tug Speedman Tug Speedman and Tug Speedman. Tug Bo- Danny McBride, Tugbo- and- Robert De Niro, <laughs> Al Pacino, and Jay Baruchel. Tug. No, um, it's uh, it's 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 Tug Tug Speedman, Speedman, Tug Speedman. and um, what's his name? Danny McBride's character. Oh, and also yeah, and for Nick Nolte, yeah, because Mick we Nolte. find out that Four Leaf actually has hands and was only in the Coast Guard and actually made yeah. up the yeah. story so, in tribute to the men. Not. <laughs> Specifically, the uh, sanitation department in the Coast Guard. Yeah. So he was like, you clean up crew? That's all? Right. So they got picked up by the Flaming Dragons. Yes. Yes. Early on. And they took their helicopter because Mm -hmm. East Down and Down is also a pilot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right? That's just like they really shoehorned that one in where they're like, it's your helicopter. And he's like, yeah, it is. And it's like, I don't know if we've ever established that that guy should be a helicopter pilot Mm -hmm. also. But you know what? Hey, this is a comedy, not a fucking gospel. But I do love how they end up saving them. Like the whole part where Robert Downey Jr. is... uh, Playing a, he's acting as a rice paddy farmer, mm-hmm. dropping off Jeff Portnoy, saying that like you are this is here. I brought you another foreigner that you'd probably he want. Found, he found him in his rice paddies, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so to clarify, we have Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, play, uh, in blackface, in blackface, playing Kurt Lazarus, who's playing a black man, who's, who's playing now- a black man, Sergeant. Osiris. Osiris. Who is now playing rice farmer slash opium farmer. Literally a dude yes. playing a dude playing a dude playing a dude. Exactly. Unnamed. <laughs> rice unnamed opium farmer. Rice opium farmer with an oxen. Mm, yes. With, ox. It was only one. Okay. With an ox that he had Jack Black. Uh, strapped to. Strapped to. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, and they they he speaks Mandarin, uh, and we don't know why. It's he, it's like really cringy Mandarin though. It's, it's like definitely a, it's it's a black dude speaking Mandarin, and that's the brilliance of that role. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he studied this. It's just like, and he's not hiding. He's watching Jay Baruchel and Al Pacino like run in the background, and he's not hiding it at all. He's like looking at them like this, really making it obvious. I, I wish I could do the impression. He's like, a Koji with no Koji. No, what she no he's on now. As he's like looking at them moving in the, the background. There's some words that he says that are just straight up English with oh yo at the end of it. It's so <laughs> funny. The way you broke that down, it is a white guy playing a black guy trying to speak Mandarin. Absolutely. And it is amazing. And I think that's what I don't know if we talked about this. That's what got him the Oscar nod in real <laughs> life. An, is it an Oscar or an I, Emmy or one one of the two? He actually got a nomination not, for Best Supporting Actor for this wild. role. That is wild. I have man. no respect for the Academy anymore. <laughs> I have zero respect for the Hollywood Foreign Press. Yeah. I have zero respect for MTV. Yeah. All of you suck. <laughs> award shows are bullshit. You don't award art. Yeah. You don't award art. Absolutely. First it was Moonlight. And now, and no, first, the first it was whatever the fuck it was, and then it was Moonlight. You don't get two best pictures, one best picture. Sorry, Bonnie and Clyde but fucked that up for all of us. He did get 
a nod for his role in this movie. That's Unbelievable. insane, yeah. man. He was a, can, we, can we get a fact check on that? Uh, it was no. a nomination. That up right now. It, it was is, a nomination, Is that right? a bigger slap in the face to African Americans and the black culture in America? Because like they only have given to less than 15 <laughs> black people Oscars. I have talked to one black person about uh, Robert Downey Jr. It's black... their favorite movie. No. Oh, she... no. I shouldn't have... And black she him. fucking hates it. Oh, no. Wow. Every guy I've talked to loves it. Guys love it. Guys love comedies. Women don't like comedies. But have you talked to a black guy? Yeah. About and yep. he said he was fine with the uh, Robert Downey they, Jr. Because guys get jokes. Guys get the comedy. Maybe uh, not every single guy. I'm yeah. not trying to paint so, with a wide brush he here. He was nominated. For he was. was nominated in 2009 Academy <laughs> Award. That is, <laughs> that is the Academy <laughs> for Best, <laughs> a Lugie, best Supporting <laughs> Actor, man. That, it's crazy. Right before they gave Denzel his Oscar, they hocked a yeah. Lugie on it and shined it. That's so, what that is. Can, uh, can you pull up the winner of that year? Yeah, let me check that out. Yeah, William yeah, Neeson yeah. for Taken 3. <laughs> and for Best Supporting Actor. Can you imagine? Wild. Oh. Man. Who was it? Robert Downey Jr. So, guess, just try and guess. It was a big movie so, in 2008. 2009? 2008. This, so the awards were in 2009. What was like a big... The big supporting role in 2008? What do you think? Departed? Like, was it Jared... It's a, it's a DC Ooh. movie. Was it a DC? Excuse or, you. Well, not DC, but... Was it... Oh, no. It was Michael Caine's Alfred. No, no, it's, no, it's a Batman movie close. though. It is a the, the Christian Bale. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Heath, Ledger Heath Ledger got the <gasps> honorary. Oh, he got the oh, honorary the Academy Award. Yes, because yeah, yeah. he passed out. So, Damn yeah, it, yeah, guys! Yeah. Don't okay. do drugs and sleeping pills. Can you imagine oh. ten years from now looking back that Heath Ledger posthumously after death Thank went you. up against Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> in, black, <laughs> in blackface? How do you think they Heath announced Ledger his nomination? Was spinning like a top in his grave. <laughs> All right, the so most serious method actor. Oh my yes, god, dude! He is like he literally died because he's such a method actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is making a, a thumb to a fuck you to. Wait, him. did Heath Ledger die from his method acting in The Joker, or was it uh, the other one? It, he was still. I think he from prolonged. What I understand, prolonged. He was still in moments of The Joker while he was doing that. That Mr. Uh, candy, candy shop one. Yeah, right? where he's where he's also played by Jude Law and Johnny Depp. Kurt. Parnassus? Is that Dr. right? Parnass- the Adventures of Dr. Parnassus? Something like that. Alan Boo? I'm trying, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know We're you want to type seven words a minute, but it's... Now, I, I, I was always curious about that. What killed him? Was it the uh, he, Joker? No, he really? no. He, over, he overdosed. Was, oh, yeah, 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 he, he overdosed. overdosed on drugs, and he was balancing, like, sleeping pills with uppers, and, like, he was doing a bunch of shit. One of the last people to see him was Elizabeth Olsen. Whoa! Wow! Yeah. Why? She, was, she was dating him at the time. She was one of the oh, last people to see him oh alive. Oh my god! The Scarlet Witch. Yeah, heartbreaking. Wow! I found it. It's the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus. Ah, we were close. Parnassus. Can you imagine Parnassus. at the Academy Awards they were like? Could you imagine if he was mad that he lost? <laughs> if Robert Downey Jr. was like, "Fuck this! He's not even <laughs> here!" and just storms out for doing literally the most offensive role He's ever. Like, that idiot's dead. <laughs> 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 And just like storms out. He can't Where, even grab the award. Grabs a hitman on the way out who just like has a big scar on his head. He's like, he's the one who did it. Wow. <laughs> but he just anyways. flies away in his Iron Man suit. <laughs> a <laughs> real <laughs> Iron Man <laughs> Fuck this place. Boosh, boosh. So much fire that the whole theater is now on fire because I don't know what comes out of Iron Man's boots, but it's probably fire. Well, what I was thinking was like at the Academy <laughs> Awards, like when they're announcing the nominees, they're just like, all right, the nominees for Best Supporting Actors are Heath Ledger as Joker in The Dark Knight. And also Robert Downey Jr. as Kirk Lazarus as Sergeant Osiris? In a movie called (laughs) Tropic Thunder in a movie called... (laughs) Denzel's just storming out. (laughs) That's the same year Training Day came out. No, I'm just kidding. No, I was like, no, I'm I'm just just kidding. kidding. That's not Um, even close. Alan, I don't mean to make you get up, but can I have a White Claw? Can I have yes, sir, two, I can it, two white claws? Can we get a whole round? Do you want one? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, look, guys, we're almost we're almost near the end of the film. Let's just finish All this right. baby up. So he gets caught up. Robert Downey Jr. gets caught up because he accidentally says, "Like I'm gonna return to my uh to my uh, ooh, poppy farm." Yes, they're like you said rice earlier. Tran was just like poppy farm. You said rice paddy, and so they get caught up. And this is when 
underneath his uh, clothes that Al Pacino sewed up because Al Pacino's chinos sold five million units at the Old Navy last year. <laughs> I would totally buy Al Pacino's chinos. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It, I need a pair. Me? I'm wearing be... jorts right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be such an Al Pacino stan. I'd have everything of his. I'm an actual Al Pacino stan. You know what stan. I mean? Yeah. Dude, um, and he and he pulls a tug Speedman, and he has also two ARs. And I think they're M4A1s, technically. I think they're M4A1. Man, yeah. I don't yeah, yeah. fucking wow. know. No, this might have actually been M16, because no, M16. it's 69. Oh, yeah, 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 No, yeah, yeah. M16A2s. A2s oh. or A1s, honestly? A2s. Honestly? Because the A1s, I think, were the semi-automatics. The A2s, I don't believe, had the triple shot. I am not 100% sure in that. I think that the big differentiator between the two is the stock. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. That's right. I don't know enough, and I'm just going to say well, I had he an was un- shooting a bunch. I had, an un- I had a couple uncles who were in Vietnam, yeah. and they never came back the same. Mm. Oh, wait. <laughs> that, that's I'm sorry. A- Time out. Did you know your uncles pre-Vietnam? A couple of them. Well, oh, not before. You know, no, no, no. Not yeah. before. We should probably cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, oh, to digress, well, <laughs> well it's fine because we're basically toward the end. Mm-hmm. I mean, like this yeah, is the yeah. hu- this is the climax. It's when I came. It's like a when you what? when you what <laughs> came to see the movie in theaters. Oh, then you missed a lot. I you did, missed I a did, lot, but it was still it was still understandable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he jumps out. He's got the two guns. He's shooting like crazy. Yep. Yeah. Jay Baruchel and um, Al Pacino <laughs> are saving. Uh, uh, He's pounding Nick down and Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte and Danny McBride. And at the same time, Robert De Niro breaks into Ben Stiller's <laughs> lab and he's trying to save him. And Ben Stiller's like, no, this is my home. And this yeah. is my one of my favorite parts. What we've been talking about, the dude exchange. Did we talk about uh, his portrayal of Simple Jack? We barely touched on it. You know, we're kind of, uh, yeah. We're and a little the, bit beyond that's it. That's the least but well-aged thing of the movie. I think. That is, yeah. Simple Jack is the worst. Even they, the blackface is still fairly I, debatable. I have maintained... That mm. Tropic Thunder is my favorite movie that makes fun of the mentally handicapped. Yeah, and, and has, for us and for not has it. blackface. Yeah, dude, well. it's it, that's why it's so controversial. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. in that one scene alone, where Robert Downey Jr. is giving advice to Ben Stiller about like why he didn't do well, it's because he was bringing up examples like mm-hmm. uh, I am Sean Sam Penn and I am Sam. Yeah, but then what he was just like Tom Hanks, like yeah. blah 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 blah. Well, Met first, the president and like the ping pong. Rain Man. Uh, uh, Dustin Hoffman, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Slow, not retarded. Yeah. Tom Hanks, um, slow, not retarded. And he's yeah. like, Sean Penn. And he goes, he went full retard. And he's yeah. like, oh, you never, you never go. You never go full, full R word. Full R word. Thanks for making me feel weird. No, no, no. It's fine because of the context here. You're quoting the movie. And I've said it in the past, guys. Go ahead. Dig up my past. I'm just Bet you that's not the worst thing I've ever said. Yeah. Look at my episode of Highly Irrelevant. Yeah, from two days ago. <laughs> uh, we, we're going to edit some of that stuff. <laughs> um, I would like to run for president one day. Okay. No, we're keeping it in. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're keeping it in. The I'd, only th- I'd be a great president. Every Tuesday's Taco Tuesday. Then we'll, the, what, America's just going to get more obese. Yep. Um, so with this, <laughs> with this, what I loved, it was this entire shootout. Everyone finds finds their resolution, so they're, they're all agreeing with each other at the end. I have a question. What did they get? Real guns, or are they still shooting blanks? I thought they're still shooting blanks. Blanks. They're still yeah, shooting yeah, blanks. That's why right. only three people, three things died: a panda, no, a bat, and uh, nobody blows Steve up. Yeah, there's well, uh, some things blow up, but like no, they're, they those aren't real guns. They're right? not. They're, they're blanks. still blanks. Now, one time Al Pacino is reloading though. Is he reloading blanks? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah. I don't know why yeah. they're doing this so bravely. Have you ever shot a blank? No. Oh, it's. Have you ever shot a blank? I f- yeah, I feel yeah. like I have. Yeah, it feels we've, like a bullet. We've all shot guns, real guns. Have you ever shot a real gun? Yeah, absolutely. You've shot a real yeah, gun. Yeah, You've recently sure. shot real guns. Yeah. The yeah. blank is like 70% of like a real gun, would you say? The kickback, yeah, is a yeah. little less. So they're so all feeling it, yeah. The yeah. actors are, I would say the actors are even adding to it. I think the, the kick from a blank doesn't translate on movies. You have to like really do the... Right. Yeah. So yeah. is their strategy just to scare the shit out? Absolutely. Yeah, that's if, why you... If you were walking down the street, a car pulled up. Yeah. Bah, 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 and started shooting. Bah, bah. They have a tech nine. Piss my pants. Right? You Easy, wouldn't easily. assume for sure. If you didn't get hit. Yeah. They must have been shooting blanks. But I'm also a pedestrian. What they're going up against are <laughs> seasoned drug dealers. Exactly. That are ruthless. Yeah, they should have they so, should have looked around and been like, hey, which nothing. is why you should assume those are real bullets. Mm. Wait, are yeah. they or aren't they? 
They're blanks. Mm-hmm. They're blanks. They're, that's why no one dies. That's some, why the, the drug dealers assume they're real bullets because there they're is in no the real There's no payload world. on I that gotcha. bullet. I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like the gun that they used to kill Tupac was just blanks, and then Suge Knight shot him himself. Yeah, of course. Suge All right, Knight. so check it out. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Here's, like, here's my Glock 19, right? So, so this, this is, is what full a, this automatic. This is what a real bullet. <laughs> Illegal in 20 states, but boop, 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 very boop, legal boop. in Nevada, Yeah, where I got it I at a gun show. A... <laughs> I'm honestly more of a Sig Sauer man myself. I don't think that we should be buying Austrian-made guns. Yeah, Glock, a Glockenspiel, as they say. Yeah, I think Glock can is the guy's last name. Can stay in fucking Europe. Out, uh, Austria, I believe, is where it's from. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. I don't give a fuck where those guns are from. Jay Baruchel has like extreme knowledge about the the lay of the land that is adjacent to Vietnam. Because yes. he went through boot camp as an actual soldier. Yeah. That what he was to... actually a method actor. He's the best actor <laughs> there, man. He's yeah. the best actor actually Jay, in real life, well, too. Okay, what I appreciate about this movie is that Jay Baruchel was planted there as the straight man, as the, the contrast to like to provide a clear juxtaposition yeah. to these crazy mm-hmm. characters. You know what it was? It was the audience's um, connection. It was yes. the, yeah, the audience avatar. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We were Jay. Yes, because we're all just saying like, no, that's a dead person. Steve Coogan died. Yep. You're crazy. No, Tug Speedman, that's not the way we should be going. Time we out. should try to get picked up. My favorite Steve Coogan line what? is when he goes... Um, I am Jesus' son. Yes. Yes. What a co- he's a new director, a which is rookie my- director. Yes, very and scary. Way too co- I love like earlier when uh uh Les Grossman, Tom Cruise is talking to them via the TV and he's just like, "Who's the director?" "All right, you." points at this big brown man. <laughs> no, he, he goes, he goes, "Who's the key grip?" And he goes, "I need you to go punch him in the face as hard as you can." And yeah, and he's he fucking rails into this dude. The best part about that joke for me is that you know why the key grip did it. Oh, because he didn't want to lose his job. Because he's union, and the oh. man who's paying his tab is the executive producer, wow. Les Grossman. Oh. So he can't say no to his boss. He, by his contract, yep. has I do to love do that. it. It's like such a four or five level deep joke that it's yeah. like, it's funny on one level, it's funny right. on two levels. And it's, even the delivery was funny. It's he, funny. Even he's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny for those at home. It's funny for those that act. And yes. it's funny for the guy who had to do it. It's yeah. funny for yeah. actual yeah. key grips. Absolutely. And he goes up to him and he's just like, I'm sorry. sorry. Bah, bah. And the way they shot it, like, <laughs> it looks so good. Gnarly. Yeah, like a bad, but he's immediately yeah. bleeding from the nose. Recently, I punched somebody in the face on accident. No, you didn't. Yeah, it was actually, I, I, I since we're near the end, I'm just going to tell this story. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I uh, recently started taking melatonin to help me sleep because sometimes I don't. Oh, I don't, good for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's here or there. Okay. I'm also, um, as some of the baddies know, I'm also on Prozac, so I'm helping with my mental health as well, mm-hmm. which already Here's, gives me. Yeah, thanks. Um, it also it already gives me very crazy dreams. So between the two, I'm having the most insane dreams. <laughs> The other okay. night, I was having maybe not a nightmare, but a very active dream where I was maybe like slowing punches in my sleep and screaming and saying "fuck you" in my sleep. And my girlfriend w- wakes me up and she's like, "Alex, you know, like wake up! Like you're you're shouting and stuff." And I was like, "Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." So I snuggle up and and I go back to sleep. And in my dream, <clears throat> I'm having a vicious, vicious argument with my brother Matthew Middleton, friend of the show. Um, except in the dream. He is about four times fatter than he normally is. Okay. And his hair is about six times longer. Holy uh, crap. And we were just in a fierce argument. A fierce argument that leads to fisticuffs, um, which is not too far out of what the real world is. Anyways, in this fisticuff move, he goes to grab me from on top. I duck down under his arms. I throw two body shots to his side. And I'm immediately woken up with, Alex, what the fuck? You've just punched me in the face twice. (laughs) Because in my sleep, as I'm holding my girl, I'm punching her twice you beat the directly shit in the face out of your girlfriend at five your o'clock sleep. in the morning i punched her twice square in the eye i'm so fucking sorry oh, it, i don't I, wow. I can't like there's no it, it, it's, it's 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 just i i'm still not over it i mean i'm a wild sleeper i kick and i knee and i do stuff but usually nobody gets hurt because I, I generally sleep by myself yeah, yeah but now now there's people getting hurt and honestly it's matt's fault alex can i give you uh something to get you through it yeah can you text your brother and tell him? Oh, I called him the next morning and told him, <laughs> you, you, you owe my girl an apology because this is 100% your fault. And yeah. at first he goes, oh, look, this sounds like something my wife would get mad at me for. He's like, this is a dream. Nothing really happened. I go, no, no, no. Somebody actually got punched in the face yeah. 
twice. And uh, I have deep valleys for knuckles, man. I, I haven't punched somebody in the face in That's a long what time. I mean. Apologize to your girl. <sighs> of course, then, it's already been then, done. And then tell your brother, I kicked your fucking ass. And you know what? In the dream, he he crumpled from the from the kidney shots. And you know what? That's what would happen. I've only ever knocked out my brother once, and I only need to do it once. Uh, hold you, on, you, your brother's kind of big. Yeah, I choked second. him out once. Yeah, I choked him out once. Kind of big. He's huge. I choked him out once when guy. I was seventeen, and and I never forget it because it was he the only was time. 21. 20, 22, 22. potentially. Yeah, yeah. Um, big boy. And um, yeah, that's the only time I ever beat him in a wrestling match was I choked him out one time ever, and uh, I won't ever let him forget it. You know what it was? He was uh, so many years out of football and wrestling that he, he was out of it. Yes, but he's always had 175 pounds on me. Your brother's a big guy. He's he was. a big guy. Yeah. He doesn't have 175. Let's not be crass. He no. had a lot of muscle at the time. Yeah, but at one, the time. He had right three now, digits over you? That's wild, no, man. Right now, your brother has 50 pounds on you tops. He's probably yeah. not listening because I think he turns off the episodes after halfway. So he's probably pushing. Yeah, fuck you, Matt. Yeah. Let's Matt, see, you're, I like you, Matt. If you're listening, you should Matt, tell you're all your friends to subscribe shit. and rate and review us. I bet Matt Garcia could beat your ass. Oh, and then he has better stories about travel than you, Matthew yeah, Middleton. He probably does. <laughs> hey, Honestly. Matt, you're you're good. You have a great family. Keep it up. Hey, you're a great man, fuck actually. Fuck you, yeah, Matt. Yeah. Houston smells like shit. And Houston you're dealing good, yeah. with it, which gives you a lot of character. And honestly, Matt, you're a good guy. Matt, I'm sorry about what I said. Yeah, we all we all actually look up to you. Every day we say yeah. a prayer. No, you're a good guy. And we think, hey. And I've been saying that from the beginning. Millenni- May- Millennials drink. Great podcast. Thank you. Yes. I don't know if that's still going, actually. We might have to cut so. that part yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's still a thing. Um, uh, anyways, <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just getting more deaf and keeping that in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. You should have no. let me produce it. Fuck bitch. you, man. Yeah, You're listen still to great. me. You're still great. You're still great. Oh you just have a family God. and you're busy. Matt, I will fuck you, Matt. I'm going to oh. fuck you. No, he doesn't. He's got a vasectomy. It's not worth it. Um, uh, Justin, mm. would you like to give us your best person on set award? Oh, jeez. Did we finish the movie already? Uh, they get Oscars and the movie ends up being They made. escape. It's... The half squad starts they stabbing escape. Ben Stiller because Ben yeah. Stiller is trying to stay with the... With the, the, the Asian folk, and yep. uh, they escape, they come yeah. back. Do they kick his kid out the window, or did I no, ever dream that? No, they throw him out into onto the, the river while bed. he's being stabbed. That's right, that's yeah. right. While, yeah, Tug Speedman. Tug Speedman, Tug yeah. Speedman's is being son. stabbed, half squat. He um, grabs his son, who is stabbing him. Throws, yeah, throws and him. And throws him to the right, a stage right. Yes. To the point where he's doing like a like, cartwheel mid air. Yeah. I, I, I think that's called a misty flip, and it's very similar. To, <laughs> it's very similar to what happens to Baxter when Jack Black kicks him off the bridge in Anchorman. Oh, I remember that. Yes, yes. I like when when that Asian baby wow. is thrown off in the <laughs> yeah in the credits when they're like introducing the cast. They like show that Asian baby, and it stops like you know. There's a still frame on it. <laughs> it, it is reminiscent of Baxter. It's very Baxtery. Um, so yeah, basically that happens. They go to the Oscars. There's a bunch of, there's Jason Bateman's at the Oscars. Uh, oh, everybody's there. Yeah. Um, who was in front of him? Uh, there was another John Voight. John Voight, John Voight. is there. Yes. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt is there. Is there. Uh, Jennifer who, Love Hewitt is now with Jay Baruchel. Who reads, who reads it? Who no gives fucking the wait, wait, that's real? Yeah. No, not in real life, but oh, in the movie. Oh, 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 yeah. No, Jay Baruchel actually has a very beautiful wife. I follow him on Instagram and he should, he, I think he deserves more work. I have a script for you, Jay Baruchel. Okay, if you're listening to this, hit him up, Jay. I think if we tag him enough times, he should see this. Yeah. Or he'll be annoyed and just block us. Or okay. he'll be interested. So, and what love is us. my criteria for best on set? Well, who do you think did the best in the in the real production of this film? Who pulled the most weight? Yeah. <sighs> oh man. To me, and and I don't want to influence your answer at all, but I believe. Before you say it, mm-hmm. can I say mine? Yeah, of course. Robert Downey Jr. Had a boy. Yeah. Well done. That's good. What yeah. I was going to say was there's really only two horses in this race. Mm. Ben Stiller's directing and acting and Robert De Niro's intense, <laughs> intense off-screen antics. <laughs> right? I'm going to say it, it has to go to Robert Downey Jr. For yeah. Me. Yeah, for sure. Because it's the, it's high risk and it was high risk, high reward. I honestly oh think. Oh my God. High highest. risk for sure. What a he big went gamble. blackface in the renaissance of yeah. his career. Yes. As before. we found out, this is mm, in the midst mm. yes. of Iron Man. Yeah. Yes. Well, right. Iron Man came out the same year. Yeah. It's in the, it's yeah. in the like, oh, John Favreau is just mm-hmm. like coming this onto the screen. Yeah. Can you imagine if this went sour? Or 
Robert Downey Jr. went blackface. Do you think the that Avengers doesn't happen? We don't get to see <sighs> Marvel Studios Scarlett doesn't happen. Johansson yeah. do oh, whatever the hell she's God. doing. Oh, man. She'd we be stuck don't... doing Lost in Translation with Bill Murray. Oh fucking Bill that Murray! That movie sucked. <laughs> God damn I don't it. remember that movie. I watched it as a kid. You don't remember Lost in Translation? Not really. Oh, it sucks. Man. It's bad. I'm all for ScarJo, man. Whatever she wants, she gets. You know what? That's How what do I mean. we feel about her suing Disney? She's definitely going to lose that, right? Well, yeah, but you know, it's like David and Goliath. I have so much respect for David going it's up against Goliath. It is. It, when you look at it, you say, oh, little actress versus Goliath. Yeah. Uh, Disney. You think, oh, Disney won that. I think she might have a good chance. She might have at this, a pull, man. dude. I She's the first one to do pull, it. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't think she Emma Stone have, or Emily Blunt or any of the ones after uh, are gonna. Stone, yeah, she might have a good chance at this. Yeah, I don't know. You know who's not doing it though? Who? The Rock. Well, The Rock's just with like, Jungle Cruise. He's just like no. He's well, go, he's always gone for the cash grab, man. He doesn't yeah. care. Somebody somebody negotiated their contract you know what he correctly. Has? Yeah. He has he has Furious Nine. He's actually not going to be in nine or ten and eleven. It was, I was just reading an article about it, how he's not going to be in the final two Fast and Furious. I, ha- I have seen Furious 1 and 2. I have not seen the I believe the it's Fast ones. and the Furious and Fast and Furious. I really don't care about and that. And then there's Tokyo Drift, <laughs> and there's The She's Fast and the like... Furious. Then there's Fast 5. Then there's Furious 6. Then there's Fast and the Furious. Christian, that's when you're seven. editing this, just, just fast forward. Then there's fast, fast and the Furious 8. Then there's Furious 9. Yeah, I know. Just yeah, cut this all out. No. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. There's just, there's just so many, and like, I'm not We're even gonna caught do up. Them all. I was fine with Hobbs and Shaw when we did Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw is actually great. It's so Holy good. Holy shit. I forgot do. about Hobbs and Shaw. It has nothing to do with Fast so and the Furious. It's that's so much better. Statham and uh, Elmo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, oh, it's Statham, Elmo? Rock, and Reynolds. Oh, it's not Idris Elba. Uh, no, no. Idris Elba is in it. He's the bad guy. But it's also uh, Kirby, Vanessa Kirby. Mm. <gasps> Who the hell is that? Girl, she's that blonde girl mm. now. Vanessa oh, Kirby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Woo. Baddies, if you're still listening, thank you. <laughs> uh, Alan, thank now you. That, who's your best person on set award? We all chose uh, good old Robert. Good Robert. We picked it, has it, has it has to be, be, it has also to be Robert, Robert De Niro. Man. Also Robert, Robert De Niro. Also Robert De Niro, yeah. whatever he was doing at this time, probably gra- bad grandpa. I was just going to say, I think he's doing bad. Bad grandpa because he needs the money. <laughs> but so, yes. So to circle back. What's up? I originally said all of these actors had a bone to pick. They had something to prove. For sure. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr., what did he prove? He he didn't like himself. He just he kept on method acting. Yeah. Because he didn't like who Kirk Lazarus was. Mm-hmm. And so he kept hiding it's the typical stereotype of what actors are. They get to escape <laughs> real life and be living this fictitious life of like this g- gay uh Catholic. Okay. And this like, you know, yeah, this, you're right. Uh, Sergeant Osiris. The but, Portnoy. Jack Jack Black. Mm-hmm. What did he accomplished what was his he got off of drugs he did didn't he and also he wanted to be respected beyond just fart jokes just fart jokes and what although was... although a fart joke is what saved them yes what was his payoff that's right let's yeah, let's, yeah. at what the end of the day payoff? he saves everybody by a fart joke so maybe he's gonna come back to america and say fart jokes are the bane of existence so he was grabbing quite literally grabbing Handfuls. a handful of like opium heroin i don't mm-hmm. know what the whatever the opium, base the powder poppy. was and he could have been shot dead by the uh, red dragon. And then he farts. He farts. Flaming dragon. Yeah. Flaming dragon. It was... I'm going to do my best impression of this fart. It was... Yes, that's, that's really perfect. good. That's really good. That's perfect. You do that often? And it cracked him up. That's and that a... gave him the opportunity to gain... Kill them with an overdose of heroin. Because yeah. he got upset. He got he upset got... that they laughed at his fart joke because he was literally just talking about, like, I'm more yeah. than just my farts. So it's twofold. Yeah. He got redemption that way, and he ended the fart. Yes. Al Pacino, I don't think he got redemption right there. I think but he, he got you know to what be it was? His with redemption himself. was with being he with was Lance. openly gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah openly yeah. gay. Yeah, with Lance Bass. And who who better to be openly gay with? Lance right, Bass, Lance Anderson Bass. Cooper. Any of the Backstreet Boys. Well, but they're In not. In sync boys? In sync men. My bad. In sync <laughs> people. <laughs> um, I give this movie a, a three out of five. I give this movie a solid three out of five. Three? Look, guys, it didn't age well, but it it, it, it is still funny. 4.5 out of five for me. What? 4.5. Wow. How about you? What's the highest movie you've rated? We've actually given a couple of fives. We did a we did a no fucking way. We did a rom com last week with Matthew Perry and Salma Hayek called Fools, Fools Russian. Russian. That one got a five out of five. Yeah, that's a that's a five out of that's a golden Seriously? buzzer. Seriously? Yeah, I believe we, we also gave Thanks Killing a five out of five. No, I'm I, just did not, I did not. I did not. Wow. 
So, yeah, what do you give in it? In the realm of comedies? Yeah. This is top tier, guys. This is right, Yes, yes. This is top tier. If you but can pull you be, yourself Will you show this to your kids? If my kids are cool as shit, yeah. <laughs> my kids are <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if my kids aren't lame as fuck. Uh, they're not fucking dorks and yeah. nerds. If my um, son's not a libtard, then fuck yeah, yeah I'll show it to him. If my kid fucking sucks, Ugh. yeah, I'll Fuck that idiot. I got a kid going to Tennessee State, not (laughs) Berkeley. (laughs) Tennessee (laughs) State? The Tennessee State baseball team uniforms literally look like the Confederate Army. Whoa. That's not great. Designed by Hugo Boss. Okay, look. (laughs) This is quite literally... On the top tier of my favorite comedy movies of all it's time. It's so great movie. It I so missed good. it. I'm so ashamed that yeah. I haven't seen it in so long. Five out of five for me. For sure. Well done. That makes nice. sense. Well done. The only reason I give it a 4.5, because in the realm of ICBTB, where we tackle underrated, critically low films, yeah. this did get a higher rated film. So okay. now I'm changing my standards. I'm changing uh, my perspective of like other movies that are 82% on Rotten Tomatoes, right? Okay. Ni- and that's 90, the only reason why. Yeah, yeah. The point five because... You really like it. No, because like I just I, there it did. There are some moments where it didn't age well. Simple Jack was taken slightly too far. I have, J- I have one question. Yeah. If Robert Downey Jr. did win the Oscar over Heath Ledger, oh my God! <laughs> Can you imagine? America wouldn't exist would be, right now. That would be his only Oscar, right? I, oh no, he got one for Charlie Chaplin, but that um, would be his yeah. second America Oscar. America would not exist right now. California would be mm-hmm. collapsed oh, underwater yeah. without <laughs> would be, an earthquake. We'd be yeah. Atlantis. Yes, without the. I agree. Yeah, well, it's, that's, it's, fair. that's fair. We would not be a, 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 a what? state. A <laughs> what? A what? A, uh, country. You were gonna say country. Country. Thank you. Thank you. I only heard the first syllable. Ooh. Alan, what do you what do you rate this? Four out of five. Four out of yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. That's Again, good on really Alan's scale. That's really great funny. for Alan's yeah. scale. Yeah, it's really funny. Alan rated Schindler's really? List of zero. Stop. You wait. You Stop. guys did Schindler's List? No, 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 no. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. I don't think I can talk about that for that long. Yeah, I don't know why imagine? that girl's jacket is red. Everything's in black and white. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what is it? Sin City? <laughs> well, okay. Look, so, no, pretty good. Yeah. So, you, Alex, you gave it a 3 point. I gave it a 3. 3 out of 5. 3, three yeah. 4.5. Five, five and, and, a four. and a four. That's all good. Yeah. It's all it's all definitely above average. You should watch it, Baddies. You should for sure watch yeah. it. Baddies, it is streaming You've on Prime it. Video right now. Yeah. And Pluto TV for free. Yes. So check it out. Um, I've been Alejandro. But, but And I've been Christian. But before we go, Justin does have to look into his camera. Oh. You have to uh, just tell the Baddies one last thing. It could be a word. It could be a sentence. It could be an anecdote. Um, but we ask our guests to just stare into the barrel of that camera. And give us one solid piece of advice. Give the baddie some advice. Cradle the balls. <laughs> Work the shaft. And swallow the gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be what you write on the table? Yeah. I'll yes. That on the table. That yes. What you write on the table. Yes. <laughs> Justin, thank you for a fantastic thank you so much. week of episodes. It's yeah, been no fantastic. Problem. We'll be back for sure. And we have a musical to write. We do have a we Blink do. 182 we, we have musical. A musical to get working. We have to get on. Ryan McShaft here on the podcast yep. as well with yep. you. I'll get him. Yes, I'll please. get him. Yes, and um, you know, I've been Alejandro. I've been Christian. You can follow me at call underscore me Jesus. Follow me at Christian as asthma. And you can follow me Justin at uh Jason three A's. You can yes. follow the podcast at ICBTB podcast. podcast. As always, guys, check out our website icbtb.com. Very soon, we'll have some fun new stuff for you guys. Yeah, so We're going to get some cool merch and some fun jokey stuff. And maybe uh, maybe like uh, maybe like a special message from Christian's mother. Maybe. Yes, that's definitely possible. Alan, thank you once again. Oh, of course, yes, man. Alan, of course. The show, what a guy. The show's way different with you here. Dude, coming through with a micro, an extra microphone just to be on a mic with yeah. notes that he builds up. That he... You, it's awesome, man. We've never yeah, had thanks, a guest bring their own mic. And honestly, that's why we respect you the most. Oh. Yeah, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, all right, Justin, thank you so much. Alan, uh, sign us out. Yeah, sing it. You don't have to sing it. I don't you know just, how to sing it. Sing it. it. Just sing it. We'll catch you guys next week. It can't be that bad.
Baddies, thanks for listening to the show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This episode was brought to you by companies like M3is3D.com. Uh, be sure to check them out. All the links that you need to find them are in the descriptions below. And uh, be sure to check out icbtb.com to get any of your merch that you want from us or to check out episodes on any other platforms, streaming platforms, or YouTube. And be sure to hit us up on our socials. Email us and DM us on Instagram, and we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.